Microsoft announced big changes to its internal operations this morning. Here's what you need to know. So what happened at Microsoft today? All right, look, so the CEO of Microsoft, Satya, gave the boot to a number of executives that are now just out the picture. In short, he really kind of cleared the woods and got rid of some people he didn't really need and then brought together a number of divisions to form smaller groups, or larger but fewer of them. For example, now the Windows group is now also in combination with the hardware group in one unit. So it's really kind of a partial reorg, but a very important one. And also now there are fewer princes running the show. Windows Phone, what's going on? So Windows Phone appears to be not dead, but certainly it's going through a lot of changes. Part of the executive departures today included Stephen Elop, the former CEO of Nokia, and the now former head of Windows Phone. In short, they changing up who runs it. Another departure today was Joe Harlow. So several large executives have left the Windows Phone team. Is this the end of smartphones at Microsoft? It's definitely not the end of smartphones at Microsoft. The group is now under the tutelage of Terry Myerson, formerly the head of Windows, and now the head of Windows and Windows Phone. Essentially, he got a bigger job. What this means is Microsoft is giving the smartphone division and all the smartphone factories, smartphone employees, smartphone engineers to the same guy, boosting him internally, but also saying it's still a very important thing for the company to work on. Will it look different? Perhaps. Different design? Perhaps. But certainly, they're not going away anytime soon. So what does this mean for Satya Nadella, the CEO? So here at the very end of Microsoft's fiscal year, we're seeing a little bit of cleaning out the closet. Satya got rid of some people and reformed the company to better fit and better operate along his own vision. So this is now Satya's Microsoft times two. If this doesn't work, it's definitely on his shoulders. And uh, how did investors take all this? The stock price of Microsoft is basically unchanged today, which means one of two things. One, they just don't care. Two, they don't get it. Or I guess three, they just trust Satya to make good choices. So keep in mind, this is not a mass layoff. Instead, it's the exit of a number of now formerly key executives. What does it mean? Well, we'll find out soon enough, but certainly now Satya has the company that he wants to build his vision.